all righty back out here with a pink lady this time we're pretty far let's see see that guy right between the power line down there that little dark spot that's my still target it's probably it's probably 12 inches wide by 18 inches tall Oops, sorry 18 inches tall uh it's extremely windy up here right now I had to weigh down the, the tripod because <laughs> it was blown. I, I don't think I'm going to hit it, but, you know, if I do hit this, it'll be a miracle. Uh, my GPS said it was 470 yards, plus or minus 20 yards. So anywhere between 450 and 500 down there. I don't know. Fuck it. Let's try it. See what happens. Just show you here real quick, logging out. But uh, over this, that hill over there, I don't know if you can see it there. The whole hill is getting clear cut. There's going to be a giant solar field there. Solar panels. It'll be interesting when it's done. So, yeah. 450 to 500 yards of 38 snub nose with about, I don't know, 30 mile an hour wind probably. Definitely going to hit it first try. Okay. I'm only going to shoot a couple shots because it is so windy. I don't think I'd ever hear if I did hit it. I'm just going to shoot about... 10 15 shots and I don't know, just see if we hit it. Oh, there's no way. Yep, not on that five. Let's try again. And I got five more in here. It is starting to snow and blow. So, I don't know. It's, I can't tell. I think I'm shooting too high. I'm being pretty consistent. So I'm going to try down it down, see if I can see where the bullets hit. I'll try it one more time. We'll see what happens. All right, it's going to be a last try. I can't even tell if it's hitting too high. It sounds like, it, I don't know. I'll try five more. I just, I can't hear or to see like where it's hitting and stuff. I was going to put it up on the dirt. That way I could see the bullet hit the dirt if it's hitting too low or whatever. But I was like, ah, it's kind of dirty wood chips. I figured I'd see it, but I'm not seeing the bullet even hit. Maybe the first one, I'll shoot low intentionally here and see. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I hit it or not. Heard something crack there. Yeah, we'll go up and check it out. Got one more. Gonna send a Hail Mary, brother. I don't think so. We'll go up and check. Ah, uh, yeah, there is no impact strikes low, so I must have been shooting high. I wasn't sure how far a 38 special actually drops at almost 500 yards. Unless that's one there. I'm going to take a look. I'm going to have to try it again though. Now I know 
about what's going on maybe here. Dude, look, it was. I found it. It was just literally laying right in the dirt, man. Oh, that was so close. Like, that was on a direct path. That thing would have hit it. Man, that's the one I shot real low to see. I'm going to have to try it again. It's crazy. Look at that. I was like, that looks like a strike. It was just sitting there. I bet that thing hardly even hit the ground. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. I think I know that. Dude, that would, I mean, the way it was angled, it would have hit that thing. Oh, it's just an air higher. Okay, with my newfound confidence, I was so close on that. It was just a little bit low. I was shooting too high the entire time. So I think I might got it dialed in. Uh, I'm just going to try. I got it. 5, 10, well, actually 14. I don't know why there's 14 left, but we got 14 rounds left. So we're going for it. It's, I know I can do this. I know I can. So windy. I don't know if that was a hit or not. It's so hard to tell. It's so windy here. If it was, wasn't windy, I could tell. I don't I doubt it. I don't think so. Wind? Like, it's so windy, it's actually blowing my truck. I'll get some more loaded up. I got five more in here. I got her dialed in now, brother. I don't know. I got, I got four left for some reason. I don't know if somebody's, whatever. Ah, got four left. Let's see what happens. Come on, baby. Last one. Alright, well there it was. I don't know if I hit it sounded like maybe. I doubt it. I think you'd be able to tell. But we'll go up and check it out. Okay, well I'm still set up here. I'm gonna try my 500 mags. So these are 350 grain jacketed hollow point, 19, 1912 feet a second. I love Underwood ammo. They make some beautiful bullets. I mean, look at that guy. Thing is nice. Uh, especially for the price too. Like their prices aren't that bad. So I'm just gonna try one bullet here. Since I'm here. God, I hate this gun. <laughs> it's so much bigger than the 38, the pink lady. Oh my God.
I don't know. I definitely didn't see any dirt fly on there, but it'll be interesting to see, that's for sure. Yeah, let's go take a look. Sorry, it's getting a phone call. Uh, anyway, uh, definitely no hits. I must have been hitting high still because there's no other bullets in the dirt. Uh, must have just been shooting right over it. Like, see, I should have had a bank or something above this. That way I'd know if I was hitting high. I mean, it's probably just going, just stones and trees and shit right there. It's probably just going right into there. But I'm going to keep, well, not today, but I'm going to get a little different setup. I'm going to put it, there's a hill bank up here I usually go shooting. And that might work better. That way I can see where the bullet, if it's hitting high or low. I'll figure it out. We'll come back out and try it again. But if you didn't see my other video where I actually did make a 200 yard shot with that, check it out. And any other videos you want to check out. And I'm just going to keep trying this, so... We'll get her. We'll get into history books.